As Nigeria marks her 57th independence anniversary, the event is observed in different ways across the country. In Ilori, the Kwara state capital, the independence celebration witnessed a march passed by men of the military, though with a low turnout of people. A similar event takes place in Kanu state with the state governor and the emir of Kanu encouraging citizens that Nigeria has a bright future. Our administration remains committed to serving you and fulfilling our promises towards delivering dividends of democracy through improved social services, boosting of agriculture, adequate water supply, provision of qualitative education, health care services, internally generated revenue, as well as infrastructural development. We started off very well and then lost it somewhere along the way. Hopefully, uh, with the fight against corruption, with the emphasis on security, and with uh, intelligent policy making and implementation uh, and democracy we should be able to um, meet the expectations of the founding fathers. With the day falling on a Sunday, Nigerians trooped to churches where prayers were offered and special songs rendered. Plato and Kaduna, the state executives attend church services where they pray for peace and unity in the country. Whatever it is, there is no alternative to peace. There is no alternative to the unity that we have in this country. So our own is to thank God that Nigeria, in Nigeria we are living together. We are living in unity and we are living peacefully. It is my prayer that Nigeria will fulfill her potential, that it will grow into a strong united country that creates opportunity for its citizens and delivers a better life for all of us. In Adamawa State, there is no official activity to commemorate the occasion. The streets are virtually empty with few vehicular movements. The Bishop of Upper Room Cathedral, Yola, prays for the unity and prosperity of the country, while his counterpart in Abuja stresses the need for equity and justice. Well, the fact is that we are all Nigerians and that uh, it's a gift from God to us. Nobody shows Nigeria. We just found ourselves right inside and we must accept this gift as something that we must cherish. Some people say unity is what we need in the country. I said then our number one priority now in Nigeria is not unity. It is justice, fairness and equity. In Kogi state, the governor in a state broadcast to mark the Independence Day says Nigeria has a lot to be grateful for. That even though we have had, we have had, we have, we have not accessed our gains after after amalgamation, the present government led by President Muhammad Buhari GCFR is making efforts to optimize our potentials as a nation. For many Nigerians, the country has gone through interesting times despite some challenges and they believe the years ahead will be better than the past. Meanwhile, there was a there was a celebration at the Eagle Square in Abuja, where festivities were in high uh, spirits, celebrating Nigeria's independence. Young, full of life, and from various schools, their origins, faith, and culture as diverse as their uniforms. They answered the call to unite and celebrate the nation's 57th anniversary, and the venue is the Eagle Square. Their host delivers this message. As we mark the 57 years of nationhood, I wish to assure all residents of the FCT that we continue to build upon the vision, the guidance, and the mandate of our leader, President Muhammad Buhari. The children put up beautiful performances. The Eagle Square, flanked by the Federal Secretariat, the National Assembly, with a spectacular view of the Asul Rock, is a symbolic arena for the transfer of power. It has also hosted commercial, religious, and political events, including the National Day Parade. But the last time such parade held on this arena is in 2010. There were a few people in the stands to listen to the message of peace and hope 
and conspicuously missing are the service chiefs, the military, paramilitary and the federal authorities like it used to be. Some Nigerians say they remember the recent past with nostalgia. It's very sad because then back we used to see in different parade, even Mr. President himself used to be here at this parade ground. But very unfortunately, due to insecurity in the country, today look at the number of people that are present in this in this Eagle Square. Past independent parades, the president and all the federal government crew always be here and other places. Why this uh, at this moment, why is it so? Second independent parade is never a children or a childless uh, parade. With relative peace in the nation, they believe it is safe to put back the pomp and pageantry into the independent day celebrations and return the Eagle Square to its glorious days as early as October 1, 2018. Ibrahim Adra, Channels Television News.